Welcome back to our News Today YouTube channel. Today, we will analyze and learn how Ukrainian FPV drone rapidly executed Russian soldiers. Fleeing in foxhole Avdivka, in the heart of Eastern Europe, Ukraine's Eastern Front remains a crucible of conflict where geopolitical machinations, military strategy, and the grit of frontline soldiers converge. A recent and noteworthy chapter in this ongoing saga unfolded with a Ukrainian drone strike targeting Russian armored vehicles in southern Ukraine. This incident, laden with implications, not only showcases the adaptability and resilience of Ukrainian forces, but also highlights the intricate dynamics of contemporary warfare in a region marked by geopolitical rivalries. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on global events like this. At the core of this recent development, is the audacious use of first-person view FPV drones by Ukrainian forces, the strike, meticulously executed by skilled drone operators. From the separate presidential brigade, targeted Russian armored vehicles stored in warehouses in southern Ukraine. This unconventional assault, reminiscent of a precision shooting range operation, resulted in the destruction of T-72 and TAO tanks, ABMP-3 fighting vehicle, and a BREM engineering vehicle, collectively valued at millions of dollars. The tactical triumph lies not only in the destruction of high-value assets, but also in the apparent extended range of the strike, the Ukrainian FPV drones. Traditionally limited to a range of around 2 miles, seemingly reach targets over 10 miles away. Analysts speculate that this extended range might have been achieved through the deployment of repeater drones a larger drone capturing and rebroadcasting command signals, pushing the boundaries of traditional drone capabilities. Central to the evolving dynamics of the conflict is the geopolitical backdrop that has shaped the trajectory of the conflict, the United States, a key supplier of heavy munitions to Ukraine, has faced political challenges in providing fresh aid. Since October, Russia-aligned Republicans in the U.S. Congress have stymied efforts to vote on new aid packages, leaving Ukrainian forces grappling with ammunition shortages. In response to this aid blockade, Ukraine has turned to indigenous solutions, notably the production of FPV drones in a network of thousands of small workshops spread across the country. Funded by small donations, these workshops churn out an impressive 50,000 FPV drones per month. What was once a tool for reconnaissance has evolved into a weapon of choice filling the void left by the absence of heavier munitions. The recent capture of Avdivka, a significant Ukrainian stronghold in eastern Ukraine by Russian forces marks a strategic setback. The 1110th Mechanized Brigade, after a grueling four-month defense against a Russian force ten times its size, eventually relinquished control. Avdivka, with its heavy industry and pre-war population of 30. Zero is the first major Ukrainian city to fall to Russian forces in nearly a year. The fall of Avdivka, while a blow to Ukrainian morale, is not emblematic of the entire front. The 65th Mechanized Brigade, for instance, successfully repelled a Russian assault in the south. The clash, involving unupgraded 70-year-old T-55 tanks, showcased the resilience and tactical acumen of Ukrainian forces this episode. Coupled with the recent drone strike, underscores that not every Ukrainian brigade is as fatigued, outnumbered, and ammunition-starved as the 1,110th. The conflict's ebb and flow are marked by strategic calculations. On both sides, the Russian military, initially sending 40,000 troops to besiege Avdivka, 
suffered significant casualties. As the Kremlin reinforced its forces, including the 2nd and 41st Combined Arms Armies, casualties mounted, reaching a staggering 13. Zero by early December. The Russian force in Ukraine now numbers around 470,000 troops with ongoing mobilization efforts to replenish losses. Analysts posit that while Russia may have the manpower and equipment to sustain the conflict through 2025, sustaining the intensity witnessed in the capture of Avdivka may prove challenging. The Ukrainian forces facing ammunition shortages exacerbated by the U.S. Congress's aid blockade, are compelled to ration and carefully allocate every missile, shell, and drone. The conflict in Ukraine's eastern front reverberates. Far beyond the borders of the region, the delicate dance of global powers, with the United States hesitating to confront Russia directly, underscores the intricate balance of geopolitical forces. As Ukraine grapples with internal divisions and external pressures, the conflict becomes a litmus test for the resilience of international norms and institutions. The strategic recalibration on the horizon is not solely military. It extends to the realms of diplomacy and international cooperation as the conflict unfolds. The imperative for diplomatic engagement becomes paramount. The United States, Russia, and other key stakeholders must navigate a complex landscape to find a sustainable path towards peace and stability in Eastern Europe. In conclusion, the recent Ukrainian drone strike against Russian armored vehicles unveils layers of complexity. In the conflict's narrative, it is a story of innovation born out of necessity, of resilience in the face of adversity, and of geopolitical intricacies shaping the contours of the battle fine as the conflict in Ukraine's eastern front enters uncharted terrain, the imperative for strategic foresight, diplomatic finesse, and international cooperation becomes ever more crucial in shaping a future where peace can triumph over the echoes of war. Hello there, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with the latest news and analysis, consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends to help us reach more people. See you in the next video and thank you for your watching.